Hello everybody, this is A. Proustian. And this is Elmiron. So those of you with a keen memory might be wondering why Dormin is talking about a lake in sacred flames instead of sand and shaking the earth. And that's because I have in fact already fought the 10th Colossus, but then I messed up the video taking. So I still, I've lost that footage, it's gone, I'm very sad. Um, my plan is to go back and do it again so you guys can see it and kind of talk about the reactions I had the first time, which were so amazing. I'm so mad that I lost this footage. Um, good news is now I know where to go, and I already got the fruit off of a few trees along the way, so I'm not going to bother to do that. Um, and we're just going to do it on the reminiscent mode. So then I can show off, I guess, what that looks like too. I've done a little bit of that already, um, just practicing and on some of these and showing um, my sister because she was like, I don't have time to watch your videos. I said, that's fine, I'll just show you <laughs> <laughs> fighting the Colossi. Um, yeah, so we're going to do that because um, I can't get the original footage back, unfortunately. So here we go. Now, this does mean I do actually have to remember where I'm going because the sword will not tell me. I'm not going to try, I'm going to try not to check the sword because it's telling me the next one and I'm not ready for that yet, so. Yeah! It should be marked on your map. You can check your map. Oh, that's true. And it's definitely where that beam of light is. Um, yeah. The real question is like the ins and outs like getting there, but I think I remember. We went past the shrine, which we've already seen before, so that's not a big deal. And then... Sorry, Argo... No, not that way. This way. We need to go more like this. It is very pretty. I do wish a little bit that you could fast travel to shrines, but yeah. <laughs> when you've already been to them, it kind of amazes me that that's not like. It feels a like thing. that's the sort of thing that, like, when they did the remaster, maybe they should have put that in. Like, right. I, I understand the original <laughs> was PlayStation 2, 2005. Fast travel wasn't really a thing games did. Yeah. Because generally you didn't need to. Right, right. It's a small enough thing. And um, I just wanted to come back here because the... Was this where the view was or was that the other one? I think it's the other one. Uh, okay. One. one of the... Uh, there were two trees and one of them had a really cool view. Oh, and I also got the tree next to the big major shrine. I finally remember that one. There was one freaking fruit. It's like, oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, game. You shouldn't have. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that, that, that one was the one that, that was the tree with the view. That was very pretty, even though the camera didn't want to show it to me. Whoa, <laughs> what was that? That was your horse having trouble stopping and like I don't know four-legged jumping like a cat it was weird I don't know <laughs> yeah I, I swear know. to god Argo is related to Cecil but yeah um <laughs> stop, stop, stop. really cool view of some of the places that I've been on the other side if the camera will let me look and the camera's like yeah. no, no looking Okay, well, that was the view. Let's keep going. <laughs> Did I encounter that shrine? Um, I don't know. Is it on your map? It doesn't look like it's on your map. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, hey. 
Well, I've gotten a new shrine this way. I love the birds. Right. I love how he always stumbles there and then does the meditation, like, whoa, and it's just very undignified. And I kind of <laughs> love it. I was I was thinking how every time he eats a fruit, he grunts. And I'm like, oh, man, I feel you. I have to grunt every time I do anything <laughs> these days. <laughs> oh, I saw a lizard. Well, it's done. Okay, and I think I went this way. Yeah! And I went through that pass. Next to the yeah, I orange. remember that little orange thing on the rock. Yeah! Which, if this was another game, I would be like, is that an iron deposit? Or should I build a mine? <laughs> yeah! What did you run into? There's nothing there, Argo. There's nothing there. Totally related to Cecil. There was a ghost. You couldn't see it. I saw it. <laughs> and when we came here before, oh my god, yeah. I jumped down the cliff instead of taking yeah. the horse. And this time I thought, I'll take the horse. What a mistake. Okay, and I jumped down because I was like, oh, a shrine. And then I was trying to figure out which way to go, and we thought... Let's we were, try the creepy cave first. <laughs> creepy cave, we were closer to the cave, we thought. That would right. be a better option. And in it case we had to turn around. Turns right. out... There's some cool bats in the cave. Yep. Yeah, we can just try it here. Yeah, so I did remember this Colossus from my brother's playing through, but my memory of it was of an open sandy field and not a cave, so this was kind of interesting for me as well. Yeah, yeah, so we basically came in and I was like, is this the right place? Like, the right place, but I will come over to this, like, sunny spot to check my sword, you know, just mm -hmm. in case. And then... Almost immediately, cinematic. <laughs> right, like, right around here. It's like, okay. And the cinematic... I'm sure we'll see again once I wake this guy up. And I'm not necessarily going to recreate what I did, although maybe I'll just talk about it. <coughs> Alright, we'll see. Yeah, we don't have to recreate the part where it killed you. It did. It murdered me almost immediately. It dragged me down. Under the, under the sand and you... Uh... Suffocated, oh my basically. god, like immediately, immediately. Because I stood next to that little rock. My thought was, maybe it won't come next to the little rock and I'll be safe there. Let me tell you what this guy does. He comes next to the little rocks and he breaks them into pieces and then he murders you. <laughs> And look, it even shows him breaking the rock in the cinematic, but I did not notice. Look, how are you supposed to notice something like that when you're watching this? I know, right? So I will demonstrate that my second thing, I thought, okay, well, maybe a big rock, you know? Here I am on a big rock, and that's fine. But you know what you can't do from here? Anything. The only thing you can do from here is not get killed by. There it goes. Oh, of course. Come back. So, after a little bit of this, Dorman was like, your scrawny human legs are no good here, mortal. Only in their Dorman way. <laughs> And I was like, am I going to have to ride the horse? And Bennett was like... Yes, you're going to have to ride the horse. 
Oh shoot, you're gonna have to ride the horse. Okay, now where is... Speaking of my horse... Okay, they have this really convenient button to let you zoom in here on the Colossus. What they need is a button to zoom in on my friggin' horse. Okay, I'm gonna run. Away. There you are! Come here, Ariel. Nope, nope, on the horse. Oh shit. Oh shit! Look, we survived. Good instinct, horse. There it is. There it is. Yeah, yep. Okay, so I'm like, I'm on the horse. Now what? Too far ahead of it, I think. Did not die. Okay, now where is this thing? It's over there. There it is. exactly what I want. Oh, it hit a wall. Ha, how do you like that? Aria, that's why I tell you not to watch the walls. And then it's like aim for its eyes, and I had already figured that out. Right before Dormin said aim for the eyes, I had seen an eye and aimed for it. I have not yet been able to demonstrate that here. Oh my god, of course. Let it catch up a little. Not too much! I love when I'm like focused on the Colossus and it's like underneath your feet. That's where the Colossus is. Shit! <laughs> what? Guess what? It's gonna kill you. Yeah! Yeah! Man. Yeah, the baiting on this one is different from the turtle. Also challenging in a different way. Ah, oh, fuck. Run! Run!
All right, we're gonna we're gonna exit for a second and get my health back. Cause I can't get past this rock. Yeah, we uh, Argo just kind of ran into here. Ran one time. ran over here one time, and it was like, oh, okay, horse is done. Horse says we're done. That's right, Argo's like, I'm out. <laughs> Done fighting this Colossus. Let me leave. Okay. Yeah, it's not the most exciting when I'm just uh, getting my health back, but I'd rather do it than die and yeah. start over again. We did also find another sparkly thing in the middle of this. We did, that's right. I was running on the horse and there's like a brief sparkly thing and then I did maybe not a wise thing and I got off my horse and ran over and picked it up. And um, the reason that was not wise is because I already had the velocity down to have health at that point. And if I had to start over, I would have had to start from scratch. Like now, it doesn't much matter. I haven't damaged it, so... But, yeah. you know, whatever, I got a sparkly thing. Which I looked up, apparently it's like a coin, which is a new collectible they added to the game. There's 79 of them, if you find them all, you get a new sword. So. And I'm like, 79? I've got two. But, you know, fuck it. Pause to let this guy catch up to me, but then I pause too much. It's a problem. Yeah. Maybe try leading it through the center again. Maybe. Oh, it left. What the hell, buddy? You know what, Torpin? I'm trying. This is not good. <laughs> and I just couldn't, there was no time for me to react and go a different Yeah, way. no, that, that was yeah. not. Not with this horse. Okay. What, you want to charge the monster? <laughs> okay, I guess. I'm just gonna do this instead of like really running until I know where the thing is. Apparently it's over there. last time. Yeah. I don't know why it's not following me. I like it's stuck by the wall. Shit. Okay. Come on. Through the eyes. Oh, come on. There it is. Okay. There we go. Alright. And then go this way, horse. Nope, this way. I have to get off and get up it. And the old patented stabbing grab. Grab and stab. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay. All right, it knocked me off. I was like, can I do more than one? No. Where's my horse? You were right here. Where'd you go? You were go? right there. Fuck. Fuck me. Come here. Come here. I have to go either left or right. Yeah. That's no good, guys. Yeah. Go horse, go Argo, go Argo. Okay, got ahead of me, that's fine. almost had the eye sighted and then Argo jumped. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm like, really? <laughs> Argo's like, yeah, well, there was a rock. <laughs> I mean, right, yeah. Okay, well, it's gonna take a second. Yeah. Argo's <laughs> like, you couldn't see it. You were looking behind us. all the uh, Cecil shouting at us and joining us and biting my hand and startling me when he jumped on me. The music is like, <gasps> and I'm like, look, Chill out music. I'm just crouching on a rock. It's fine. I think yeah. the other thing that I mentioned when we first saw this guy actually though was that it reminds me of the underwater one, except that I can't grab it to go under. Yeah, you can't go under you can't go swim under the sand. 
I mean, apparently I tried anyways, and that's when I died. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now where is this guy? Over that way. Like, if, if I could just count on Argo running, like, in a circle, it would be a lot easier. But I, I mean, I suppose that's part of the challenge, but... It's very difficult to manage the horse when you have to be looking behind you. Yeah. So, like, I can't see what's in front of me. I have to see what's behind me. I hope Argo makes good decisions, but Argo does not make good decisions. that. Argo runs into... Argo, don't do that either. And then I have to figure out, okay, I'm facing the wrong way. How do I make it turn the way I want? This fucking guy. Like, I don't even know where it is now. <laughs> Don't 
thing is, if you turn the horse too much, he slows down. So, and now I can't even aim. Come on, let me aim. Let me move the stick. I move and it like doesn't... The... <laughs> like I move the... I'm holding here and I move this and it doesn't like smoothly move the aiming spot because I'm on a horse and it's jiggling. So I move the stick and it doesn't move, and then I move it a bit more, and then the, the reticle mu moves a whole bunch. Come here. I know I can do it. I mean, I obviously defeated this guy yeah. already. Yeah. I've shot its eyes three times. I just need to do it one more time. Yeah. I'm gonna get my health back again. Which again, I know is not the most exciting thing, but it's the safer thing, especially if I have it halfway down. I really yeah. don't want to die. So how you been? <laughs> I know we need small talk for while we're getting our um, health back in a video game. <laughs> Remember when I did this for the underwater one? I'd had to do this a lot for that one too. Yes, I, I do. Yeah. I don't think I ever really got the chance too much with the. Um, I guess I did a little with the turtle. Yeah, the turtle was hard because you couldn't. There, you, you tried a little bit to get your health back at one but point. But there weren't really safe spots. I just had to yeah. be away from it for long enough. Yeah, because if you stopped, it would shoot you. Right. I just, I'm moving left or right and, and nothing happens with the reticle. It sticks right in the middle. Yeah. 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 It's just so much to think about, like, so I'm not going to worry about trying to keep the horse off the wall. Like, the horse is going to run into the wall if it runs into the wall. It's just, it's too much to be aware of where I am and aiming. I think at this point I'm annoyed because it's like the same thing over and over again. Yeah. And I'm like, I know what to do, I just can't aim at the eye. Yeah. <sighs> How frustrating. I'm trying to aim at the eyes. Yeah. And, and like, every once in a while you, you get the shot off right as it moves. Yeah. And it just, just like barely misses. You're right. Yeah. All right, let's try 
try this again. I got this. I can do it. You know, of course, it would help if I told you to turn the right way. And that's the thing is I'm running backwards, so again, my instinct is to hit the stick the wrong way. And if I stop and think, I'll hit it the right way, but I don't have time to stop and think. I feel like every time I hit it, it's just been pure luck. <laughs> that, like, I don't have enough control for it to be skill. And I think that's what's truly frustrating me about it, is that... I, like, just because of the way that the reticle is so non-responsive, it, it just makes it feel completely luck if I get it. Because I have to draw back enough like if I if I just do like that, I don't know if it's gonna peg it. Like like yeah. I feel like there's definitely like a vibration when I hold it longer. I don't know. Maybe I just need to just point and shoot more and hope for the best. And maybe because it's so close, like maybe if I hold it longer, that just gives me more range, and I don't need range. Yeah, maybe. Okay, well, that's something to try. I will just try. Oh my god, okay. 
<laughs> All right, that realization about just firing faster uh, really helped. It did. It's good to, it, that makes me feel better. Like there was like something under my control that I could change yeah. and improve my chances. And that makes me feel a lot better. Oh, Cecil's pretty happy. Hey, bud. Oh, yeah, and it doesn't teleport me back because it was just reminiscing. Yeah. Remember that time? Remember that time that this giant under underground snake almost killed me 12 times? <laughs> right? And my horse ran into the wall a lot? Yeah, it sure <laughs> did. Okay, well, um, I'm going to call that here. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I made it again. We made it again. Good job.